My name is Dr. Judith Schindel Rothschild. I am a registered nurse who has been practicing in the Commonwealth for over 35 years. I'm an associate professor at the William F. Connell School of Nursing at Boston College, where I conducted this groundbreaking research through our Centers for Research, and I have some of my research assistants here with me today to stand witness to the years of work it took to do the analysis that has been published in two of the journals that you, two of the articles that you have before you. I first testified before the legislature in support of limiting the number of patients assigned to nurses on June 18, 2003. My recent strong analysis, my recent longitudinal analysis of registered nurse staffing in Massachusetts hospitals has reinforced my strong and unequivocal support of the Patient Safety Act. In the interest of brevity, I will present highlights from my most recent research relevant to your deliberations. More detail is provided in the appendix to my written testimony and in the two articles that are attached. We looked at a longitudinal analysis of staffing in California versus Massachusetts. It is a gold standard for research methodology. We looked at nurse staffing in California before those mandates were put into place in 2000, and then longitudinally over a decade. And we trended out the staffing, the demand for hospital services, and we found that in 2000, there was no difference between Massachusetts and California. And by 2011, and the most rigorous, robust, significant finding you could have, there was a marked difference between California and Massachusetts. Not only did the nursing staffing go down and stay flat in Massachusetts and fall behind California, the proportion of total nursing staff to total hospital personnel fell while it went up significantly. The number of admissions, the number of ED visits also went up significantly, and we concluded that nurse staffing did not keep up with demand. We heard from the Massachusetts Hospital Association. They did not give you statistics from the Patients First website. Our research fellows did enter that data. We have that analysis, and you can see it laid out over a five-year period of time. The average patients assigned to nurses in every Massachusetts unit in this state, and on 11 units, in step-down units, on a consistent basis, they're above those, those staffing limits. On 27 units, hospitals rather, in Massachusetts hospitals, they're consistently above those med surge units. So I would urge you to support this Patient Safety Act and report it out favorably, and I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you. But we have heard, you know, considered testimony on the other side, and I want to be respectful of that testimony and respectful of everyone's opinion. But uh, we heard from the other side that the California law hasn't worked. And I've heard something quite different from you. And uh, perhaps you can elaborate a little bit on that. We use data from the American Hospital Association Annual Survey of Hospitals that reports the number of RN full-time equivalent hours. And we looked at it over a decade, and we trended those hours and admissions and ED visits comparing California to Massachusetts. And while the two states were no different in 2000, by 2011, there was a marked significant gap between California and Massachusetts. Our staffing remained completely flat over the decade, and their staffing rose significantly, the number of, of nurses that were available to take care of patients. At the same time, the demands on the nurses, especially in Massachusetts, significantly rose. Those demands didn't increase in California. So at the same time, our staffing for nurses is staying flat. The demand for, the, for care of patients is significantly increasing, which adds about an hour and a half more time every time a patient is admitted, discharged, or transferred to a bed. So our, that, that, I can't emphasize enough, this is the gold standard of research, where you have a baseline, baseline data, then there's an intervention, 
and then you measure it, and you don't measure it one year or six months, but we measured it from 2000 all the way to 2011. And that shows them we are falling behind. We have fallen behind. That's what our data proved. And we also did a study. I heard somebody comment on, on heart failure readmission and all the factors that go into heart failure readmission. It's an important outcome to look at because it is going to cost billions of dollars. It costs billions of dollars a year, and it's going to cost Massachusetts hospitals millions of dollars. And we tried to explain the variance because California, I don't know where the previous speaker got that information, but California has, has lower readmissions than Massachusetts. So we tried to explain that. And we were able to explain a significant amount of the variation. And it has to do with staffing. So, so we are looking at, in a very systematic way, how those, that, that bill in California to mandate RN to patient ratios has impacted the staffing, how it's, how, what's happened in Massachusetts during the same period of time, and we are finding that there is a marked difference, we're falling behind, and our patient outcomes are suffering. Then we also went and we looked at the Patients First website. Because, as, as uh, a journalist from the Boston Globe said, only a data geek can, in, in, uh, can interpret that. Well, we interpreted it. We, <laughs> we did the ratios for every single Massachusetts hospital, every single unit, from 2009 to 2011. It took nursing students over four years, five years to do that. And, and you have that data in front of you. I provided it to you. You can see where the outlier hospitals are. You can see that one of the hospitals with the worst staffing in the state has got a profit margin in the double digits. You can see that we couldn't find any correlation at all between acuity and staffing on step-down med surge um, intensive care units for adults or newborns. The only place we found a correlation was with the, with the emergency department staffing. So we, I believe in transparency. I've given you the information now. You can see which hospitals we're talking about are going to be impacted here, to what, how much of a degree. And it's over a five-year period of time. So you can't get more rigorous analysis than that. 